Now I can do the intro, now I've got my cover. What's happening guys? So, finally got around to dragging out all the bits from the fat tyre flyer bike that Rob over at DreadFX has helped collab on. And it's, it's fucking amazing, what a day, October. It's glorious out here, so we're gonna try and smash out a few bits. Start making this thing resemble a bike again. It should look pretty sick. I'm gonna take you in and show you the, piece, the bits and pieces one more time before we put it together. So we've got all the bits, got the battery there in front of the uh, rear wheel. Not sure how well that's coming out on camera. It does look pretty decent. It does look very close to actual real metal. Well, obviously it is metal, but the spray effect is giving off uh, metal vibes. Corks, handlebars, retro seats. Yeah, I think that's just, just going to make a start. I'm going to try and get it up in that bike stand with a seat post on next and um, start the build. All right, she's all up on the stand. Seat post is in the new retro seat is on i've now got a basis to start building this thing up a little bit not sure if i'm going to get the whole lot done today but it'd be nice if we at least get this thing up and rolling maybe forks handlebars and wheels on would be a nice stage to get to look at that paint shining in the sun absolutely glorious but, um, <laughs> i just love the way he's done these uh like the spray spray effects make it look like it's been stressed by heat when it's just purely rob's technical skills and ability Anyway, I'm going to crack on and come back in a little bit when we've done a bit more. Say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, get a little high five in there. It does bug. Alright, and a bump. <laughs> Guys, if anyone hasn't already checked out my video, this arrived yesterday, I think, or the day before. Haven't been out to get on it since because it's rain. Maybe this afternoon I'll get out and do another video on it. However, whilst building this bike today, I'm also trying to build a new home for this on the driveway. So behind me, I've got a massive canopy to go over my window off the front of the house. I'm hoping to fit that today since the weather's nice. Um, show you a little bit of that, it should look pretty sick. I've got a ground anchor in the driveway in a few bits, but above this window here, I'm going to try and fit the biggest canopy awning I can do without. I don't think you need planning permission. I'm pretty certain there'll be a Karen out there, I'll point out if I do on the internet as always. But um, yeah, so in this, in this bubble wrap here in this box is a massive sheet of uh, polycarbonate plastic. Some huge brackets, a metre and a half long. So I'm going to start getting this out of the packaging. See whether I can actually smash this out, as well as a bike today. Um, and then see what it's like to park the bike under there as an extra layer of protection from the weather. So we've got the brand new gold bars on there. Forks are on. New retro seats on. Brand new display. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> it's a bit windy, things are blowing over everywhere here. Uh, next thing, probably just going to be putting the wheels on so it actually looks like a bike where you can maybe drop it down on the floor. I'm really excited for the uh, wheels because looking at the moment this seat looks a bit too beefy for the bike but once you get the 26 inch fat wheels on there I think it's going to start looking pretty sick. Also, whilst, whilst this is coming together, so busy, so many things going on. Yeah, whilst that build's going on that side of the driveway, look at the size of that. <laughs> absolutely huge bracket i'm going to start trying to figure out where this is going to go it's massive isn't it it's like ridiculous so probably something like that or like that crazy absolutely crazy so trying to get this beast fitted up yeah so it's all go so many projects but it's really good hopefully we can get this up today hopefully we're going to get the e-bike at least roll in with the wheels on soon and then get this up. Oh, enjoy the sun. Maybe get out on the beast. Yeah, perfect day. Absolutely perfect day. Trying to smash some shit out. But yeah, let's get on. Look at that. I wanted to have a go. <laughs> I know. I know you do. Well, this is where we're at. She's up, she's rolling on the wheels. Bars are on. Well, you can see in the picture, um, pedal, electrics, brakes need setting up. A few bits to do, but I really want to get this DIY job done today as well. Potentially, I'm not going to do too much more on it at this stage today, I don't think, because I don't think there's any point rushing. That 
from what I remember that battery that battery didn't have a key so I've probably got to take that to the locksmith anyway I don't want to build it all up ride it down the road and then it goes bouncing down the concrete after Rob's done all that hard work so maybe I'll drop that with the locksmith maybe I'll do a couple more bits to, to sort of tidy up but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I just want to give you an update. We'll let you know in a minute if we get a bit further with it. I'm quite excited to make this home for my motorbike here. And I've got these massive brackets I'm trying to figure out now. So probably going to take a little coffee break maybe and get a quick bite to eat and see how we get going with what time we've got left. Hi right, guys, what's going on? So bike 80-90% finished. Aeroplane ruined in the end. The canopy was a pain in the arse. I've never done one of these before. Initially installed the first bracket in the middle and it was a bit too low, so I raised it up a bit, moved it across a bit. Turned in a bit of a saga, but it's fine. Get this finished tomorrow. I'm going to do a video on that because that's going to be the home for the uh, new motorbike. Potentially could have this up and running tomorrow. I'm going to give it a go. This will be the two jobs tomorrow. Trying to get the fat bike finished, trying to get this finished. There's going to be a few little bits on this, like the key on the battery, I'll need to take that to the uh, locksmith because it doesn't have a key. But yeah, all good. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the video soon.